guys, it's me, Emily, and today we're back to discuss Heartland Season 14, Episode 2. And I have my friend Lisa here, and let's get into it. Also, spoilers included, right? We're right. Go we're going in deep. <laughs> yep. So, first of all, some things that we forgot to mention last week were that there was so many people that Ty had an impact on, including Luke, that little boy who Clint um, brought to the ranch, and as well as his mother. Do you remember his mother's name? Um, I think it was Melinda. Melinda, okay, sounds about right. Um, but I'm 100% but... sure. Yeah, but anyway, just Luke and his mother, um, because his mother um, had bipolar, and that was, that's something that's very close to my heart, because that is something that I deal with on a daily basis, so I, I was, like, cheering when they brought that up, because normally they just do mental health, and it's depression and anxiety. They never really dig deeper into you know any of those issues but i was so happy when they did um bring up the bipolar so i'm just wondering how uh ty's death had an impact on luke uh we never find that out just yet maybe we will but we never find that out um and as well as the prince i wonder if the prince found out i know he left the series i'm pretty sure but I, you know, I wonder if they're going to tell literally everyone Ty came across, you know. Right. So It would be cool to see, too, because see how they do it and how it impacts them and see what they're doing to today. make it into a positive. Yeah. And go, f like, pay it forward like he did. Yeah. And especially Amy, Amy's friend, Soraya, where is she? You know? I always wish she would come back, too, because I always liked her. Right. Okay, so now let's jump in to this episode. Literally, guys, it is almost 6 o'clock on Thursday, May 13th. We are filming this right after, so this is fresh in our minds. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm, I'm almost fair to say that this episode was more emotional than the first one and I didn't think I was gonna say that but I was emotional my mom's like are you crying and I'm like yeah I am <laughs> yeah this was this was yeah the, I was terrified I too yeah this was hard oh my god especially because so I don't know if you've watched the, the trailer for this uh season have you yes I have and remember More than once. <laughs> me too, and I actually reacted to it in a video. And remember yep, and of course. Mm -hmm. And remember how she was like, Ooh, did daddy make you breakfast? You're a lucky girl and he was like, Oh, mommy needs your sleep and remember they went through all of that? Right. And to see that finally play out now, I was like My heart, oh my god. Well they did that so then think he was dead so i know and but then and we'll get into it more but but then for her to keep having nightmares about it my lord i was i was sobbing i was like every time i hear something and her um cell phone ring is the same as mine mm -hmm. and so my mom was like, is that your phone? And I was like, no, mom, it's it's the TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But, like, it kind of felt like, you know, that groundhog you say, like, where, oh, it's the same thing over and over again? Yeah. And And I deal with a lot of, like, flashbacks and nightmares and, you know, some type of stuff like that. So... That really, mm -hmm. that really was close to my heart, too. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I love to fall in love with TV show characters, and I love to 
like immerse myself in their lives and I love to do all of that. Yeah, that's why I think we became close because I do too, so. Yeah, and that's why we're doing this video series because <laughs> we love to fall in love with TV show characters. Um, so what was I going to say next? That was really hard. Oh my god, the next thing that I loved though, I don't, I'm, I'm like jumping around all over the place, but the next thing that I loved was that they had a therapy horse. And I was like, oh my god, yet another way of disability representation in this show. Like, thank you Heartland for doing what needed to be done years ago. And right. and when they ever brought in um, the young man who fled from Syria due to the war, I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, wow. Um, now, now I don't, I don't pretend to know much about um, other countries, and I, you know, I'm not really. I like to watch the news sometimes, but I'm not really much of a, you know, a current events person. I more like to, you know, stay in the little, like, you know, fantasy worlds of Heartland because it's more comfortable and stuff. But yeah, the news um, makes me too sad. Yeah, but we're getting into the generation. I mean, I'm sure I'm a part of the generation now of people who have lived through war um, in other countries. I mean, I'm not sure, but I think so. Because that, yeah. that young man didn't look very old. Well, I'm, I know he's mm -hmm. an actor, but what I'm saying is they don't get actors who are 40 to play teenagers. You know? Right. So, oh my God. But I, I just loved that. And especially because I've done um, equine therapy too. Um, both for physical reasons and for mental health so again I just thought that was awesome and again I just think that um, it's great that they're bringing up another piece of conversation like that sometimes people can go through hard stuff and that you know it'll be okay right right that's why I think that animals are better than people 95% of the time I can't agree with you more <laughs> Because let me tell you, horses, dogs, um, you know, they're very, they're very in key, they're very in tune with you and they're very keen to your, um, senses and they're very, um, they're very good secret keepers. Right. Right. And, and I liked what the, um. I liked what the little girl said. Or the, oh, my God, that little girl, Parker. Parker. Oh, my God, she's a spitfire. I cannot, That's why I like her. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to see what they do with her. A little season. sassy thing, yeah. Yeah, I can, she's, she's a firecracker. I cannot wait to see what she's, she's going to do this season. Oh, my God, she gave Lou a run for her money. I was like, ooh. Wow. I can see her a little bit of me and her. That's yeah. why I like her so much. Yeah, yeah. She, she's definitely, but I, but I like that. I, I, you know, and again, with the showing different things, I like that they show girl empowerment, and it doesn't just have to be, you know, the men, okay. the men doing everything, and the men do this, and the men do that. I like how they brought, you know, a girl into the conversation. Me too. I mean, heck, they have a woman mayor, Lou Fleming Moore, or Lou, yeah, Lou, or Lou Fleming, or whatever her name is now. <gasps> Where's Peter, by the way? We didn't see him this episode. Yeah, I'm like, when is he coming to see the girls? Yeah. Especially that Georgia came back. Yeah, Georgie. Yeah, Georgie came back. Um. But yeah, I love, I love. Uh, Parker, but I love what she said. She was like, horses only bond to the people who feed them. And Amy's like, uh, no, they bond in many different ways. And so I, th I thought that was nice because it's true. Animals do bond to you in different ways. If you give them affection, if you, you know, give them food, if you, 
you know, brush them, if you, you know, do whatever, um, they'll literally bond to anyone. And just cause, right. and just cause, like, my, I don't have a horse, but my dog, uh, personally, um, she's bonded to me in different ways than she's bonded to my mom, who's, um, taking her for a walk currently, and, um, who does a lot of, like, that sort of stuff, because I can't do that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you feel the same way or, or whatever. Yeah, there's some things I can't do for my dog, so my mom has to do too. Yeah, so, I mean, and that's just with anything, but not to mention that we do both have disabilities, so that adds another layer onto it of ways that an animal can be bonded to you but anyway so i just thought that was a great conversation that they had and i thought it was great how they had a a, a writing center and a therapeutic center for uh that um the people i wish i wish we saw it more but um maybe we will in future seasons uh i don't know you know so but I, again i i always applaud them for the really good job that they do bringing um, disability awareness to this show. That's one of the reasons why it's my top show. Yeah, definitely. I would have to agree. Because we need to see that in most shows. No, you do not at all. Um, and so let's slide into the next thing, which is grief and dealing with all that. I think that everybody is still processing grief. And, um, I think they've made it to the angry stage. But honestly, I, I don't, and this is what bothered me about. I don't mind doing it because I'm not seen. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're back. Uh, sorry, technical difficulties. Um, I think that what bothered me about this is that I know that people do go through grief and in like ways, and like yeah. they and they like they obviously go through anger cuz like obviously no one could never not be angry at a person but honestly seeing Jack like Tim Tim Fleming being mad at Ty is one thing but seeing Jack Grandpa Jack be mad at Ty I was like now, what do you have to be mad at Ty for? Because he left Amy, but it wasn't like it was his choice. Yeah, I mean, he literally dropped to the ground. Like, I mean, unless unless you're mad that he didn't go to the doctor when he was supposed to, but literally when Jack had a heart attack, he was the biggest pain in the ass about it. All right. So, I mean, you know... That you could be, that I will give him, that you could be mad at that he didn't go to the doctor when he was feeling weird. But nobody does. I, I don't even, I haven't even seen Amy go to the doctor for, like, you know, no, I don't think anybody goes to the doctor there. I think it's just some sort of, like, utopia that nothing ever happens. Right. And if, if I go to the hospital, I'll be there almost every day. Right. And, you know, they're, they're ranchers, and, you know, they, I don't know, I'm sure they get aches and pains and whatever. I don't know. Just, just seeing him angry at Ty, though, that was really, that was really hard for me to deal with. And then him kicking it on Quinn. Yeah, well, I mean, Quinn was kind of a jerk, but whatever. I mean. Well, he is, he is a jerk, but he was trying to be <coughs> nice. Yeah, but he's the, but he, he's the new. He's a, he's a goofball. He's the newbie. They gotta break him in a little bit. When he ever, yeah. when he ever asked for a hat, I I had a prediction. I thought, I thought they they were gonna give him Ty's hat, and I was like, I was yelling at my iPad. I was like, they better not give him Ty's hat. They, yeah, I was like, they no, better not, not Ty's. Yeah, I was like, I was like, they better not give him Ty's hat. But then when he ever unwrapped it from his jacket, I was like, he brought Ty's hat. I was like. Who's cutting onions up in here? Like, I'm sobbing. Like, it was, oh, my God. <sighs> I'm glad no one washes me when I wash it. Oh, my God. 
Meanwhile, my stomach still hurts because I had popcorn and like I it was just not a good, not a good thing. I it was just it was too much and and I was trying to watch the show and there was just too much. And I was just like, oh my god. But then, when he ever jumped it in the river, I was like, what are you doing? You know? I would want to, I would want to keep it. I would want to keep it, too. Make a, make a little shadow box or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. But then, but then when they were, like, film those, they were showing all those, like, flashback scenes or whatever. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. But then, even still, I was like, are they going to get rid of everything? So this poor little girl has nothing to remember her father by. You know? That's pretty funny because I felt the same way and I said it. I wanted to, why couldn't I give it to the little, the little girl? Yeah, I mean, even, even if she doesn't want it right now, make a little, like, I'm not even, you know what I mean? Like, some, sometimes... Things bring up memories and pain and whatever. Like, even if Amy doesn't want it right now, put it away and, you know, um, save it for later. Right. So. It's it's like when my first dog died, I didn't want to look at the stuff, but now I'm glad I have it in, like, a little shadow box. Right. So, it's not the same thing, but... You know what I mean? Right. No, but it's an example that you can, um, you can use. Um, but the other thing is, is I wonder if Graham, the actor who left, I wonder if he took any of his memorabilia with him, and that's why they got rid of it. Yeah, I wanted the same thing. Because you know how sometimes, like, you see on like eBay or whatever, people people sell things. Yeah. And it'll be like, ooh, signed script of season fourteen. You know? For an almond leg. <laughs> yeah. So that that would be the only thing I wonder what like that like cause I cause other than that I can't think of a reason why they keep getting rid of his things. You know, I don't know. Wait, it just like I really, like I have to bring this up. I like when um her mom died, Amy's mom died. Yeah, she had she had her mom's journal. Yes, oh my, and that's the other thing. She has not flipped through journals in months. That was such a privilege. She, ha- she hasn't really helped only Papa's horse because she needed help to learn how to take care of it. But other than that, right? No, I, I she's just, not really doing anything. I, I know, but like, and not, but not only that, but like the other that also is that her mom was not only full of wisdom through the horses, but she was also full of wisdom through just life in general. Right, yeah. And so I, I don't know why her mom isn't with her, you know? Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't get it. Me either. It's like they're forgetting all the other people. It's like they're... I don't it's know. like if I wrote the show, <laughs> I'd be like watching this all the seasons when we're on break so I can keep everything fresh and... Just so that we should remember, remember, you know? Right, but these people live and breathe the show is what I'm saying, and I don't know. I just, I feel like they're missing key things here. That's what I agree, too. Yeah, I feel like they're missing, like, important details. Because it, like, it doesn't make sense, right? Like, because if you go back and watch, like, season 10, her mother's journals were in everything. And then what? Yeah. Yeah. Four years later, they're just gonna be gone. Lindy's want Lindy's gonna want to know her uh, grandma, right? And have some things from his her dad, right? Especially because she's not gonna really remember him. Yeah, unfortunately not. 
because how young she is. So is there anything you want to add before we wrap up this episode? For at the moment, no, but I'll probably think of something later. <laughs> I understand yeah. that. No, I, I think, I think this, oh, right, I was going to say, oh, we forgot something. We forgot. We forgot Lou with Rick, his, his name's Rick, right? I'm going to get this by the end of the season. Yeah, Rick. Rick, okay. Rick and the leaking roof. And her buying a couch and she got in trouble for it. Yeah, which, which she already, which I don't understand how she got in trouble by him because he, she told him. He's insistent, he loves her. Yeah, and she told him to call a maintenance man and he was like, oh, she's on vacation until you know, Tuesday or whatever. But my thing is, is why wouldn't you put a bucket under that stuff? I don't know. <laughs> and we did forget something else, too. What was that? We, we found the TV show from Mallory. Oh, yes. Mal- what is Mallory on now? Mallory the blonde. You, you all remember the blonde um, young woman? Her real name is Jessica Amy. Jessica Amy? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What is she on? It's called, like, Evergreen or something you've said? Greenhouse a Comedy. Greenhouse. Com- it's called Greenhouse? Greenhouse Academy. Yeah. Oh, oh, Evergreen. Wow, wow, okay. Don't, no. Don't listen to me. Everyone follow. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. Well, I can't say the last. I can't say the last one. Greenhouse Academy. Yeah. Academy. Okay, like school. Yeah. Okay, Greenhouse Academy. That's what Mallory is on. On Netflix. Yes. Um, what would you rate this episode? Like, once again, this thing's I wish they did different. Yeah, me too, now, looking back because at Because of now. the whole hat thing. Yeah, that really made me angry. And then also the fact that Jack, Jack was mad, mad at Ty, my God. Ugh. That that was just really hard to deal with because they were just so dang close. And, and I, yeah, and I kind of was kind of surprised and glad Tim was like, the easy going guy, like, oh, be easy, it's okay. Like, helping him, like, Jack always helped him. Yeah, cut him some slack, yeah. Yeah. And we still haven't seen Maggie's. No, we haven't. Oh, my God. Like, there's just, there's just so many little things I feel like they forgot. And we only have, what, eight weeks left? All right. So like two months. That's and I'm, and I'm starting to uh, see who else is going to be on the show that we know. Like I hope Luke and his mom comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Peter. All, and Ashley and Ashley's mom. Did Ashley's mom ever die because she was sick? Yep. Val Stanton? Off, since the show started. Yeah, what, yeah, what happened to Hillhurst Stables? Right. Ay, ay, ay. And where's Lisa? Yeah, where is Lisa? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that's all we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening along. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Spoilers included. Yep. <laughs> One more thing, because we're professional YouTubers over here, and po- and podcasters. Um, we forgot to rate the episode. So, Lisa, what would you rate this episode? I'll give it an eight. Oof, really? Yeah, because I was a little disappointed on things. Yeah. But I still love the show. It's my number one show. Yeah. Um... I forget what I gave last week. I really should. We should really look. Seven. Up. Oh, you okay? You wrote it. Oh. Seven point five or something like that. It was a seven. I know that for sure. Okay. 
Well, I think I'm going to give it an 8.9. Not a, not a full 9 because they're just missing they're just missing too many details that made me fall in love with Heartland that just they're just missing too many details. And I have so many questions and I feel like it's so early in the season, but at the same time, it's not because we only get 10 episodes. So. And I'm mad about that because we still have 18. Yeah. And I just, I have a lot of questions and there's speculation that there's going to be a 15th season because they're announcing something on June 2nd. I have no idea. I don't know. I, so. It would be you sad to lose the show. Like I said, there's not a lot of shows like this. So. Ugh. If we lose this show, I'm going to be very upset. I'll be this, uh, so sad. But on a happy note, we're going to go. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Uh, bye.